Good morning everyone. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to the Finca. It was beautiful sunny clear blue skies this morning. Um, it's now clouded over. Um, not good when we're on massively reduced solar power. Um, and to boot tomorrow it's forecast to be cloudy all day with an 85% chance of thunderstorms. Um, which is great to collect some water. Not great not when we're on massively power. reduced power. Um, the stuff we need to restore the power isn't going to be here until tomorrow as yet the, the final part of it so it's, it looks like we're going to be running the generator a while yeah um, but anyway but anyway we've just been out with the dogs and they've had a good run this morning bonkers they are um, <laughs> I dig everything up <laughs> yeah um, so I think this morning I'm going to crack on with the oiling of the ceiling Yes, I'm going to put those hayloft. trims round, we'll fire the generator up, get the compressor going, pin up those last few and then Sharon's going to carry on yeah. with the ceiling. I probably need to chop some firewood up um, at the very least um, and get it inside out of the, out of the potential weather Rain. we're going to get tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, anything else? Oh, the usual domestic chores in between times, Life. but you're not interested in those, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So let's crack on, eh? Yeah. Right, so we're back upstairs. I'm going to get this trim put in along this side and down this side. Um, so Sharon can then crack on, get this wood oiled. So this is one shot. Um, I'm going to put a bead of glue on it and then nail it up. Um, yeah, we've got one chance at this. <laughs> oh, if I can reach up there. There it comes. It's in for life. Okay, let's do it. Oh, here we go. No mark in the wall, don't fall off a ladder. <laughs> okay, it's in. Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, try and get another one in there. It's not quite got it. Okay, super. Right, so now I'm gonna have to mark this one and cut it. Oh, it's a wobbly ladder. It's a wobbly ladder. So now I'm gonna do this actually. Um, perfect cut. Just going to glue it again and then nail it in and we'll come back to you in a second. Right so I've left the tongue and the groove on this so they'll lock in together but to mark it 
I need to turn it around so my groove is at that end and then because that joint is um, off <laughs> I need to mark it on the mat so it doesn't matter then I'll disappear into the wall right not quite so I need to think about this because it's going to be cut at an angle but I need to mark the shortest area which is going to be the back right so I'll stick my mark on there oops I've dropped my top okay then we'll see if we can cut that yeah we got it right um, super same again we'll just um, glue it and nail it in place and come back to you with the end result if I don't fall I'm going to fall off this ladder today <laughs> Right, okay, it's in. Um, we've got a slight raised up bit there, but the roof was so curly, couldn't get it any straighter. <laughs> um, but once it's all oiled, I don't think you'll notice. So, Sharon can I crack on and get the oiling done? Fantastic. So, for the purpose of today, I'm going to use this line here where the um, heat plate is. Um, because I haven't got time to do the whole ceiling and with oil you need to be able to see where you've gone up to obviously um, so I need to do this corner so I come along here down to about here and all of that so that then Andy can work on the worktop here and um, because once that's in it's going to be very very difficult for me to get up there without standing on the worktop here and it probably would take my weight but I don't want to really put the pressure on it so that's me I shall go and get my brush um, so while Sam is on with the oiling I'm um, just sorting the chain so I just did the chain check the oil I'm going to put some petrol in it and um, I'm probably need to tidy up a bit in here as well look at the state of this place it's all work and it never gets tidied up fully after every job um, so I might have a look at that in a bit as well but yeah, those logs are cut up and um, we've still got some left, they're going strong. Um, but I'm going to do a few more while I've got the opportunity. And it's the smaller ones that we need, um, sort of medium sized ones. So let's get cracking. So this particular chainsaw is um, a 25 to 1 mix. You probably can't see it, but, but basically you fill the bottle, there's um, I think it's a litre in there. And then just top it up to the relevant mark. So you've got 50 to 1, 40 to 1, etc. 25 to 1 is the, the top mark. You just put um, two stroke oil in there, give it a bit of shape, stick it in your chainsaw, and you're ready to go. And there we go. Give it a shake. Pink this two stroke oil. Um, blue, pink. <laughs> you can see what you've got though. Then we just pop up the chainsaw. Need the torch, but it's a bit dark in here. There we go. Right, let's go chop some wood. come off <laughs> so I have to go and put it back on I'll maybe put a new one on um, we'll have a look at it okie dokie it's back on um, we're going to do a few more so we've got a fair old pile there that will probably last us a couple of weeks um, just need to do some slightly smaller ones now but I'm going to start the generator up and um, get the, the little old cut off saw out to do here which means that that piece of ceiling is completed and then I just need to get back over there to do the wall in that corner as well 
Um, but my tummy is rumbling, so I'm going to finish this. I'm going to go and have some lunch and then come back this afternoon and do the wall. So, after lunch, <laughs> Sharon's had to resort to standing on the, the unit to reach right into that corner. It's very delicate because it meets the line wash and um, we don't really want to put a piece of trim down there because of the, it'll accentuate the, the, the angle of the wall which isn't straight if you remember. Um, in the meantime now I'm gonna go and chop some smaller logs up and um, then we need to get them in because we're forecast thunderstorms for tomorrow and um, obviously we've got to keep it dry because it won't burn. We've got enough big logs to last us I reckon a good couple of weeks now um, it's just the smaller ones, we seem to go through them a lot quicker um, on the trusty old fire which you can't see. So I'm going to crack on with that. So I'm back out the front, um, my saw's all set up. I'm um, going to have to run that. Cannot wait to get these solar panels in because even on duller days like today um, we should still be able to bring in enough power. Constantly running the generator, especially where it is inside in the courtyard now, it's really noisy. Um, another job I'd need to press in job is to build a soundproof or sound dampening box for it. Um, we've got we've got it all to do. We're just two people with two hands each. <laughs> right, so I'll bring bring a load of the wood round and get that chopped up. Well, hopefully with this and um, what you saw around there, which I've actually added to um, since you last saw it, and um, we should have enough to last us. Um, well, hopefully a couple of weeks. That's what we always aim for. Um, so. All we need to do now is get it all round the back and stack under the stairs to keep it dry. Well, that's me done. My little corner is complete. Um, I hope I haven't missed any. It's very difficult light today because there is no sunshine as Andy's mentioned. Um, but it now means that we can crack on, get the rest of this worktop in, get our cooker installed and we'll be able to cook our Christmas dinner. Exciting! So, no rest for the wicked, mind you. Andy's chopped all the wood. I've now got to go and collect it and stack it all. But never mind, I'll do that with a beer, I reckon. So this is all that's left of our big wood pile we had. Um, so let's get it replenished. Um, we're going to barrel it round to the front and then just carry it through in the buckets. Uh, so let's get on with it. Here's the first one. And how comfortable are these two? <laughs> um, lying on my fleece on the chair. Um, it's very unusual for them. They're usually bickering with each other. Um, but they seem quite friendly today. <laughs> <laughs> Nine rubbers giving way. We'll bound it too. We haven't sorted out the sizes, so it's all mixed. But we'll just take it up and sort it as we use it. Gonna get it all in one, I don't think so actually. No. We'll come back for that. Okay. So here comes number two. Perhaps we should get Donkey doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but put him put him to work even though he is making us tons of manure. Oh he just wrecked your wall. Oh dear. There's number two. Oh dear. It'll repair. We can rebuild it. <laughs> Sorted. Uh, good as new, nothing technical. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes number, well, two and a half perhaps. <laughs> um, can't quite call it three, but it's a fair bit. Right, all we've got to do now is get it moved inside.
should last us a, a few days now. Um, it's getting chilly already so I can't wait to light the fire. Um, not had a bad day, um, lots of bits and bobs, jobs that needed doing. Um, hopefully tomorrow that solar stuff will be here and we can get the solar back up and running. Um, Thunderstorms forecast for tomorrow so we shall see. Um, I hope it doesn't rain too much because now that we've filled in the land it's not so important to collect all that water on the land but of course we don't want Goaty and Don Quixote getting the wet in their stable. I think they'll be alright because we've kind of taken precautions but we'll see anyway. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video, um, thanks as always for watching, thanks to all our subscribers, all our supporters, couldn't do it without you, really appreciate it and we will see you same time tomorrow.